Um, I, I will now recognize the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Payne, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you um, for holding this um, hearing and to the ranking member. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Kelly, you mentioned in your testimony that after 2016, DHS enhanced its relationships with the state and local elected officials on cybersecurity, but there has not been uh, as much engagement in, in the physical security. Has that changed since 2020, the 2020 election? And how can DHS better partner with state and local governments on physical security concerns and enhanced information sharing? Thank you, Congressman, for the question. I will say that it, I believe it certainly has improved. Uh, I, I want to give a public props to DHS because I took advantage of their services that they had to offer. It's like a shopping cart of services. And uh, that goes a long way to increasing the physical security of our buildings and the physical security of our vote centers. Uh, and I will say that I'm seeing more of that being done across the country by my colleagues uh, than has been the case in 2016. And DHS continues to roll out additional products and services that I think are very valuable uh, for use. So thank you. Thank you. Um, this for all the witnesses and Ms. Howard's testimony, she explained that many election officials are leaving their positions because of their increase in threats, potentially leaving elections to be run by uh, inexperienced workers. For all, all witness, can you um, elaborate on the value of ex experience election workers in providing an efficient and secure election process and what type of problems may occur if we are forced to rely on inexperienced workforce? How can we better retain election workers in today's environment? Anyone can start. Well, Congressman, I'd be happy to start with that. Um, we recognize, of course, how important experience is. In fact, what I did when I came into this office is created a mentorship program where new election officials, staff, members at the boards of elections can be partnered with someone from their party, uh, from a similar size county uh, board of elections, and, and, and benefit from their experience. So that mentorship has really been a great program in Ohio, and a lot of people are benefiting from it. But you're right. Uh, we have uh, challenges recruiting and, and retaining election officials, uh, those paid full-time staff. And it's not just... Yes. Of course, that's a big deal, but it's beyond that. It's also just the burnout of the constant churn of the work that they're having to deal with. Aye, Mr. Gallagher. And Congressman, I would just add that I think as we continue to professionalize uh, this industry, we're going to see additional retention uh, as more election officials have resources that they can rely upon and feel that that they have their the people have their backs. I think you're going to see more retention across the country. No. Me Sir, I would just also add. Uh, can you hold on for one second, um, Ms. Howard? Um, whoever, please mute if you are participating virtually. We need you to mute. I'm sorry, Ms. Howard. Thank you, sir. Um, I would also add that the typical election official, local, the typical local election official, um, makes about fifty thousand dollars a year. Um, and the reality is that these jobs, as Secretary LaRose hinted at, are are unrelenting. Um, our election officials, unlike many of us, don't have the luxury of getting an extension, regardless of whether a child is having an important moment, a graduation, regardless of whether a loved one or themselves is sick. Um, I will note that my um, that Neil Kelly, who is also here today in 2020, was in the hospital with COVID, and he continued working because there is no extension. There are no excuses when you're an election official. So I think that there are a lot of steps that we can take to help support them, fully staff their offices, and pay them for the work that they do. Well, I, I thank the witnesses for those answers, and Mr. Chairman, I yield back. 